Hey, welcome back to another episode of Simple Truth Television. Today is December 11th, 2020. I want to cover a number of stories that um came out in the month of December in regards to these rappers and rappers being killed and rappers being imprisoned and all this stuff involving rappers in the headlines just in the past 10 days. You know, we are today is what December 11th and so far we've had let's see 1 2 3 four rappers jailed three rappers killed and another rapper who is fighting for his life in the hospital so all this in just 10 days and, you know, not to count all the other ritual deaths involving rappers this year and all the ritual imprisonments involving rappers. I mean, 2020, I'm telling you, I think this is going to be the most. I mean, I don't know of another year that so many black entertainers have been either imprisoned, either shot, you know, or killed. I mean, the. I mean, it's been a lot this year. We're looking at around close to 100 rappers involved in either, you know, problems with the law or or dying or being shot by an unidentified suspect. But on the, the big headline today is that the rapper Lil Wayne, he pleaded guilty in his federal firearm case. So, by him doing that, he's going to face at least 10 years in federal prison. Well, not at least. Up to 10 years in federal prison. It says here that rapper Lil Wayne faces up to 10 years in federal prison after he pleaded guilty Friday to illegal gun possession. Prosecutors said Lil Wayne had been charged with a criminal possession of a firearm and ammunition as a prior felony offender. Prosecutors said that the gold-plated 45 caliber handgun carried in a bag on a private flight was loaded. The rapper, whose real name is Dwayne Carter, entered the plea in Miami Federal Court, according to a news release from the U.S. Attorney's Office for the su- Southern District of Florida. CNN has reached out to his attorney but has not heard back at this time. If you guys remember, he was just released 10 years ago. On November, I think it was November 4th. Yes, November 4th, 2010, he was released after serving 12 months in Rikers Island for for a felony charge, a felony gun charge that he caught here in New York City. He did 12 months and he was released back in 2010. And now 20, 10 years after that, here he is being found guilty of another federal gun charge. Man, I don't know what's going on. I mean, just... What, he didn't learn his lesson? Because I'm trying to, like... I'm trying to look at it from... Just, like... Because a lot of you leave these comments and say that, um... That these things are possible. That, um... Because, you know, being that he has money and he has all these... I guess all the jewelry and all that stuff that... You know, he has to carry a gun. I saw a lot of people who refuse to embrace the information look at it, you know. Oh, you know, he you know, he's a millionaire, he's supposed to have a gun. How would you how would you go outside if you had a million dollars in jewelry? You don't know anything about that because you don't have jewelry, blah blah blah. That's what a lot of people say, you know, that's like their explanation why these people keep getting in trouble with the law. And then when I when I show them the rituals of where rappers being killed in connection to the number thirty eight, they say, "Well, you know, they rap about violence, and and the street code, and they live this street life, and they don't live, and you know that's why they're being killed because they portray themselves as gangsters, blah blah blah." Which is also a bad case, you know. That's not a good argument because if you think about it, how many actors play as gangsters in movies? You don't see them getting shot and killed in real life. I mean, you think... I highly doubt that Denzel Washington is going to be... 
You know, the day that he dies, he's going to be shot and killed. I just highly doubt that. I highly doubt that Al Pacino and Robert De Niro are going to be shot and killed. And all three of those actors have played as gangsters in movies. So that's not a good argument. That because rappers make gangster music that they are supposed to die in a gangster fashion. I mean, that's not a good argument. I can tell you a bunch of actors or even R&B singers. Who probably, you know, there's a lot of R&B singers who are, who are probably real gangsters in real life. And their music is different. And they still get shot and killed. So you see how that contradicts that argument that rappers are supposed to get shot and killed because of what they rap about? I mean, how do you explain R&B singers who are shot and killed? They rap about love. They make, you know, love music. So... But, um, you know, the reason all this stuff is going on with, you know, rappers like Lil Wayne, Zoe Dollars, and A Boogie, and Casanova, all these rappers who are, you know, either dealing with the court system, or they're being shot, or they're being murdered. All this stuff is ritual. And, you know, in all the cases that I've covered in the past year, just in 2020, I always talk about the number 38 with rappers. Because in Gematria, rapper equals 38, right? Murder equals 38. And in this case, not only does Lil Wayne equals 38, but the guy's 38 years old. And remember when I was talking about how he was released back in 20, 2010 for his first gun charge that he caught here in New York City? He was released, according to this headline, on November 4th. And that was 38 days after his birthday. And this number, I always talk about the same number. I mean, go watch any of the videos that I make involving rappers. I always talk about the number 38. So it, I don't. what I don't understand is how people can watch these videos, see the same numbers on the screen, and still say that this is a, consp a conspiracy or... You know, this doesn't make any sense or you're not making valid points. I'm not making valid points. Somebody said yesterday, because um, I, I was covering the um, the death of the actor Thomas Lister. And, you know, when they put out the reporting on his death, they didn't put out a cause of death. Somebody and I was like, I was asking in the video, you know, how come every time these celebrities die, they don't have a cause of death? And some stupid guy, person on the on the on the comment section said, um, "How can you tell what a person? How can you look at a dead body and tell what a person died from?" That is the dumbest thing that I've ever heard. You know. And I don't need Jamatra to to re, um respond to that stupid remark. Think about this: if a person is holding a gun in his hand and he has a bullet hole in the middle of his head. Do we need the coroner to tell us that that person committed suicide? No. If I walk into a, a room and a guy is hanging from a rope, he's hanging from the ceiling and his neck is around, and the rope is around his neck, do I need the coroner to tell me that that person probably committed suicide? Is it possible that these people are being murdered? Yes. But I'm not just basing these videos on my opinion. The reason I say that these people are being murdered is because they are dying in connection to the same numbers. So, that's the only reason I'm saying these people are being murdered. But I'm also, I was also saying in that other video is that um, if TMZ is going to put out an article and they don't know all the details, then what's the point of putting out that article? Because somebody's going to go to the TMZ website, look into the Tommy Lister mur um, death, and not learn anything from reading that article. Because if um, if the, what I, my, my opinion is this. If TMZ is not ready to report on a story, then they shouldn't report it. If they don't have all the details, they shouldn't be putting out the news. Wait till you gather up all the details, and then you present it to the people. I mean, they do that all the time. Think about how many times people die and we don't hear about it until four or five days after their death. 
How come they only do that sometimes? You know? And usually when they do do that, it's because, you know, they want to report it on a certain date. But I'm just saying, you know, if you don't have the details, don't put out the story. Because when I look at a story, I want to know the details. I want to know what happened to Lil Wayne. Why did he plead guilty? Where was he charged at? You know, why was he holding a, why was he carrying a 45 caliber gun? So I just wanted to respond to the stupidity in the comments because it's like, Man, are you guys not looking at the information that we're putting out? This stuff is, is undeniable. Undeniable. But yet, you guys refuse to accept it. This is what's going on to these rappers and these celebrities. This is all ritual. A lot of these rappers are being murdered. A lot of these rappers are being shot intentionally. And it's not by a rival gang member. It's not by somebody that's trying to rob them. Is by, you know, probably their record label. And a lot of these celebrities, they know it's coming. Because they know that they signed their life away. So let me just get into the Little Wayne and then we can get into the long list of people that um that have been, you know, either shot or imprisoned just in the month of December. I mean, this, today's only December 11th. So like I said, you know, number 38 is the number that I talk about the most, right? Gematria is 38. That's the language that all of these events are scripted by. The language of letters and numbers. Which involves the English language, right? English is 38. Gematria comes from Kabbalah. Kabbalah is 38. Lucifer is also 38. And that's, how, and that's who I think they're paying tribute to with all these rituals, right? The N-word is also 38, but not the N-I-G-G-E-R word, but the word that black people, you know, choose to embrace, the N-I-G-G-A. And I don't really find any difference between those words, you know. Somebody in the comments yesterday said that, um, you know, that's not simple truth because this nigga doesn't have a beard. And I don't understand why you guys refer to me as a nigga because I don't even use that word. In my videos, I don't I don't call anybody that's my skin color a nigga. I don't do that. So I don't understand why you guys embracing that word. That word not only is it coded, but it it's a word that's not that positive when it comes to black people. I don't think black or white people should be using that word. Cause those words not only do they mean negative things about black people, but um they are coded with these numbers that um I'm not that good, you know? Like the number 42 and 38. Not very good numbers. So I don't like people. I don't understand why you guys, you know, fix your vocabulary. If you guys want to leave a comment under the videos, I don't mind. But just, why would you type that? It's just stupid, you know? But yeah, that N-word is 38. And like I said, Little Wayne just turned 38 years old on September 27th. And his name, his stage name is 38. He's he's a rapper. Rapper's 38. And he was from, he's from Louisiana. So I guess that's why that number always shows up around his career. Like I said earlier, you know, his first time, the first time he was in prison for a gun charge, he was released 38 days after his birthday. 38, the rapper number, the Lil Wayne number. And here he is at 38 facing another gun charge. If you read into if you read into the story of why he's being charged is because they supposedly found a 45 caliber gun in his bag at the airport. And I guess the rapper confessed that it was his and now he's being charged for the possession of a gun because supposedly you're not supposed to have a gun if you are a convicted felon. So that's why, you know, they, they're not taking it easy on Lil Wayne this time around. But um, the number 45, that's a very important number to rap, to rap music. The word hip-hop is 45. Ritual is also 45. And if you read into his first imprisonment when he was when he did the year in, in Rikers Island, I want you guys to notice this article that um, Rolling Stone put out. 
on all the times he was supposedly, you know, came across problems with the authorities, with the law. It says here that on October 27th, this was during his bid, during his year bid at the Rikers Island. It said that on October 27, 2010, a Rikers guard is reportedly suspended for spending 45 unauthorized mi minutes with Wayne in solitary. I mean, like, what the, f what the hell is that? How did people, how did anybody know that this correctional officer was with Little Wayne for exactly 45 minutes? Well, I guess, you know, you can look at the cameras and see the guy going in. But the guy was with Little... I mean, why is that important, though? That he was with him 45 minutes. You know, they could have just put... A correctional officer is suspended for... Spending time with Little Wayne in solitary. But the reason they're bringing up the number 45 is because that's the hip-hop number. Like how today, you know, he's being... He, he pleaded guilty to... Possession of a forty-five caliber handgun. Forty-five. And, you know, we're going to talk about that number even more. Because that number showed up a lot this month. Especially with the rapper Blue Benji Kobe. Who was killed 45 weeks after Kobe Bryant. But, um, if you guys remember earlier this year. Lil Wayne put out an album called Funeral. Funeral. And here he is, you know, pleading guilty to a gun charge. But this album came out on January 31st. This was a couple of a few days after the death of Kobe Bryant. And remember he put, you no, know, the album had 24 tracks on it. It was track number eight. He titled it Bean James, which is a play on words on LeBron James. And LeBron James wins the championship this year. And then 61 days after the finals, he's pleading guilty to this gun charge. And finals is 61. But um, notice from January 31st. To today's news is 45 weeks. Hip hop is 45. Right? The correctional officer gets suspended for spending 45 minutes with Lil Wayne. Here he is pleading guilty to a, a, a 45 caliber handgun. Possession of a 45 caliber handgun. 45. Hip hop. It's how you can tell these stories are all scripted. I mean, how many times are we gonna see the number 45 and, and realize that um, you know, maybe there's something up with that number. That's good because um maybe if the what if the correction officer would have spent ten minutes he would have never got in trouble I mean doesn't make any sense why they don't tell us how, okay so let me ask you guys this those of you that like to debate this information is a is a correctional officer allowed to spend any time with with rappers in solitary or is it like you're only allowed to spend forty four minutes. And if you spend 45, then you might get suspended. No, he, you know, probably, I'm not a correction officer, so I don't know the exact protocol or the, you know, the rules behind, I don't know. I've never been a correction officer, but I'm pretty sure that correction officers are not allowed to spend any time with rappers in solitary. Why did he spend 45 minutes with them? And for 45 minutes, his superior they didn't know where this officer was at? I mean, what kind of job is that, you know? You could disappear for 45 minutes and nobody knows where you're at? Where was his supervisor at? Just strange. You know, these stories, they don't even make sense. And I, I like to incorporate the gematria into these videos, but you don't really need the gematria. If you read the article, none of this stuff makes any sense. But yeah, you know, somebody's going to be in the comments saying that, um, you know, if you're a millionaire, you should carry a gun at all times. So, like I said, you know, the reason they're using that number is because hip hop is 45. That's it. There's no other reason. Of course, you know, Birdman, he's also, you know, behind this ritual. I'm not saying he's the one that scripted this, but, um. He's a big part of Wayne's career because he calls himself, you know, I guess Little Wayne's father. Um, he, Little Wayne's been signed to him most of his career, and um, the day, the first time that Little Wayne was in jail, Birdman was um, 
very involved in that ritual as well. He was the one that, I guess, paid for the lawyer. He picked him up during um, his release date. He picked him up on, on, on his release date. And he was all over the news just talking about, oh, they got my son. My son is in prison. My son, my son, my son. And just notice, he was born February 15th. And from today to Birdman's upcoming birthday is 67 days, the blood sacrifice number. And if you read the article, it says that Lil Wayne's next court date is on January 28th. Just go to that article for you guys to see. Oh, actually, it's not on this one. It's on the other one. So where is it? So here it says, a sentencing hearing is scheduled for January 28th, 2021. January 28th. A date has written once, tw one slash 28, like 128. And Burman is 128. This, this, this story comes out 67 days before Birdman's birthday, the blood sacrifice number. So the perfect day for Lil Wayne to be sentenced on 1 slash 28, the son of Birdman. And that day, the day of his sentencing, that's a day with 70 numerology. Firearm is 70. Dwayne Carter is 70. That's also a day with 34 numerology. Rapper's 34. Birdman is 34. Rapper's also 34 and 38. So he'll be 38. And then he'll be sentenced on a day with 34 numerology. Rapper's 34 and 38. Let me show you guys. In case you guys are probably new here. So the word rapper is 34 and 38. His next court day is on January 28th, which is a day with 34 numerology. And he'll be 38 years old that day. He'll still be 38. His birthday is in September. And, you know, these two numbers, they like to use them a lot with rappers, right? Pop, Smoke has that gematria of 34 and 38. Remember the rapper Casanova, which we'll get into in a second? He was just, he turned himself into the FBI on the 38th day of being 34. They love those two numbers, right? So... It's pretty obvious what's, what's happening with Lil Wayne. It's that number 38. That's keep getting him in trouble. On December 9th, this rapper was shot. Rapper Zoe Dollars from Miami. And supposedly he was at um Tiana Taylor's birthday party at a strip club. And while he was leaving the strip club, he was shot five times. Five times. But he survived. Supposedly, he's still in stable condition at the hospital. And this happened on December 9th. And notice what his name, his stage name sums to in Gematria. 129, like the day that he was shot. December, tw December 9th is written 12 slash 9, like 129. And then he was shot in front of Booby Trap. That was the name of the strict club. Booby Trap, some to 129. Also, some to 42. And that day, December 9th, was a day with 42 numerology. And of course, that's a number stamped on black people in a negative way. Right? The N word, the other N word, which I wish people wouldn't say anymore. Because, especially if you're black, I don't care if you're black or white. Stop saying that word. That's, 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 not, a, that's not a good way to go forward in life, you know, going backwards. You, you know, using that word, you're just embracing. What these people have scripted for us, you know, a lot of a lot of these rappers use it because they're probably being told to use it. So that way, you know, we can start using it because a lot of a lot of people get influenced by what these rappers say and do, which is another reason we are the world is where where it is. You know, stop you know being influenced by puppets on strings. These people don't even control nothing about their careers. Not even their names. Like, this is how you can tell that this person probably didn't even come up with his name. Zoe Dollars. It's some 129. And he gets shot on that day. Like the other guy, you know, Blue Benji Kobe. You think he got, you think this guy came up with that name, Blue Benji Kobe? No. Oh. Little Wayne. I mean, how many rap? You, uh, like, for example, if I'm trying to become a rapper, I'm just going to name myself Little. Nah. 
These people are being t given names. They're being told what to say, what to do, where to be at. The stuff is sick. But um, the rapper Zoe Dollars, he was born on October 12th. And he was shot 44 weeks before his birthday. Shooting 44. Execution 44. Well, he didn't die. So I guess the execution code doesn't apply to him. But... That number shows up a lot with shootings because execution is 44, kills 44, shootings 44. And, yeah. But, yeah, so the guy gets shot 44 weeks before his birthday on the nose. So we had Lil Wayne who was just, he just pleaded guilty today to a, a federal gun charge of uh, an ex-felon or I guess he's a current felon. Peter Guilty is another federal gun, another federal gun charge, and he's facing up to ten years in prison. So now we have another a rapper, another rapper, shot five times on twelve nine, and name and his name sums to one twenty nine. Then on on December eighth, I think this was a day before Zoe Dallas got shot. The rapper A Boogie. He gets arrested. Um, this story is a little bit shaky because, I, I mean, they're saying that a person was shot leaving a club and a boogie and his crew was at the club. But um, they're saying that he's not the suspect for the for the, for the the shooting, but yet he, they still arrested him. They raided his apartment. They're saying that they found guns and drugs and all this stuff. But um, they're saying that he's not the suspect. He's not the person related to that Um. To that shooting. So I don't understand what, what would influence the police to just raid his apartment or this house. If he had nothing to do with the shooting outside of the club. But they said that they found guns and drugs in his apartment. And um, now he's being charged for those guns. A Bronx-born a Bronx -born rapper was arrested after cops found an arsenal of guns and some marijuana during a raid at his New Jersey home. Prosecutor said Tuesday, A Boogie with the Hoodie whose real name is Artis DeBose, was hit with weapons and marijuana possession charges, according to the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office. Law enforcement authorities executed a search warrant at the 25-year-old artist's home in Demarest on Monday. Officials, officials didn't say what their investigation was in connection to. The search turned up four handguns, hollow-point bullets, a various of high-capacity magazines, as well as weed and drug paraphernalia, prosecutor said. A personal security guard at the home, 33-year-old Kashawn Hagler, was also charged with illegal weapons possession. So, yeah, so they don't really, like I said about these articles, they don't tell us anything. You know, what would influence the authorities to just run up in this guy's home? Because don't expect, you know, the mainstream to tell you. We learned nothing by reading that article. I made a video on Casanova, the rapper from Brooklyn. He turned himself into the FBI. He's being charged with racketeering charges, trafficking charges. Think about a guy being assigned to a major record label. And I guess all the million dollars that he got from Jay-Z is not enough. So he has to sell drugs. He has to traffic drugs on top of that. You know, the million dollar contract that he signed with Rock Nation, that wasn't enough. You know, he wants to traffic guns and and, you know, traffic drugs because that's the real money. That's where the money really, that's that's where the real money is at, you know. Signing a million dollar record label, um, really a million dollar contract with a major record label is not enough for Casanova, I guess. And these stories, again, you don't need Jamatra to see the, how bullshit this is. So, yeah, so you can watch the video on, th on this. I'm not going to get too deep into it. I already talked about this before. But again, this was, I guess he turned himself in a day before Jay-Z's 51st birthday and Fredo was 51. And that same day, this Chicago rapper, Jay Herbo, he was charged with fraud. Again, all these rappers who have a major record label, the money that they get from their record companies, I guess that's not enough. They have to commit fraud. They have to, you know... I mean, just what is what? what the, look, like, who wrote this? 
Designer, the guy supposed to be is charged for scamming designer puppies, private jets, and a Jamaican villa. So all the millions of dollars that this rapper got from his record company, that's just not enough. You know, he has a scam because he wants a designer puppy. He wants puppies with Gucci collars, you know. But um, this story came out 55 days after his birthday, and his stage name is 55. It's like Sacrifice. Now, this story here, a lot of you may not know who this rapper is, but he's a he's a Puerto Rican rapper. His name is Arcan, Arc, Archangel, I guess. Archangel. He was hospitalized on December 9th, and supposedly he's suffering from... What was it again? I guess okay. So he ha he's having heart heart issues, according to the reports. And um, this is the picture that he posted on his Instagram page. I mean, this is you know stuff like this is what makes me feel like a lot of these stories are all bogus, right? I don't think Little Wayne is gonna spend a day in jail. I don't think Zoe Dollars got shot at all. I don't think a boogie's in prison. I don't think Casanova's in jail. I don't think Jay Herbo's in jail. I don't think any of these people are where they say they are. Look at this picture. I mean, where's the... I mean, this is supposed to be him in, a, I guess, in a... I don't know what that is, an x-ray machine? This is supposed to be him inside of this x-ray machine. And I guess he decided to tell the nurse, you know, before you put me inside the machine, take a picture of me so I can post it on my Instagram page. But make sure that my entire body is covered so nobody can see my body. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And this is, you know, this is what people buy. You know, people see this stuff on, on social media and they just believe it. And then he writes a long paragraph how, you know, he's been fighting for his life. You know, this. There's all these heart pains that he suffered in the past year. They're, they're killing him. And he just wants to wish people. He wants people to pray for him because he's fighting for his life. And people just buy into it. It's like, oh, my God, look, it's true. It's true. I saw the picture on social media. The guy was in the x-ray machine. I saw it. I left a comment under his picture. It's true. I mean, this is not proof of anything. This is not proof of anything. Man, it's like, how can you... All right, all right you guys want to believe it? Yeah, sure. All right, yeah, that's him. He told the nurse to take a picture of him right before they put him inside the extra machine. Okay, believe that if you like. But um, this post was on December 9th. The same day that the rapper Zoe Dollars got shot, so that was a big a big day for for music, I guess, for these artists. So a rapper gets shot in Miami. This rapper is getting some life, a lot of operation that could cost him his life. And notice what his name sums to: one hundred and twenty nine, just like Zoe Dollars. Zoe Dollars is one twenty nine, and Archangel is one twenty nine, and on December 9th, you know, one rapper gets shot and the other one is in the hospital fighting for his life on December 9th. Right? Yeah. But look, look at that. Look at them. Look at the way they mock the people. It's like. What the hell is that? You're showing me a blanket with an x-ray machine. That's all. That's all I see. I know the majority of the people on his Instagram probably see his body. They, you know, you know what I think they do? They, they, do. I think they, the fans have like this X-ray vision, because they can see this and see his body under those blankets. You know, I don't see that. I see only what my eyes can see. I don't use my imagination when I look at these stories. A lot of you tend to use your imagination. That's why you get fooled so much. Stop using your imagination. Look at the things that are in front of you. You know, that rapper is not under those sheets. But, um, yeah, the rapper's 20, 34 years old. You know, that faithful number with rappers. And, of course, Murder's 34. So, his birthday is coming up, too. His 35th birthday. So, um, let's keep an eye out on this guy because, 
You know, the next date that has 38 numerology is the day before his birthday on December December 22nd. Is a day with 38 numerology. And it's also a day with 74 numerology. So, let's see if he dies or they report that he died on that day. Because supposedly, this heart condition that he has is life-threatening. So, he might not make it to his 35th birthday, right? So, let's see what happens with him, so... But man, this picture is so sad. Let's all pray for Archangel. I hope he gets better. I made a video on this rapper, Triple Beans. I just want to show you guys all the stuff that happened during the month of December. I mean, Lil Wayne, Zoe Dallas, A Boogie, Casanova, J Herbo, Archangel, Triple Beans. I also made a video on Blue Benji, Kobe. He dies at the age of 24. Kobe. 24. Oh, one more thing. You know how the album Funeral, the Lil Wayne album, was um, a tribute to, Little, um, to Kobe Bryant? He had 24 tracks. He puts it out right after Kobe's death. And then we saw how 45 weeks after the release of that album, um, Lil Wayne is being... He fe he's pleaded guilty to these federal gun charges, right? And notice when you write out 45, that was a big number with the Lil Wayne case. It's Samsung 126, like the day that Kobe Bryant died. And this rapper, Blue Benji Kobe, he died on December 6th, which was 45 weeks after Kobe Bryant. And hip-hop is 45, right? And ritual is 45. And you write out 45, it's Samsung 126, like the, the day that Kobe died. So, like I said earlier, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight stories this month. And it's probably more, I, just, I probably missed a couple of other ones. And we only, what, December 11th? I want to play a, like a 30 second clip of an interview that um, I came across a few years ago when I first started doing the work. And... Um, one of the reasons I think that so many rappers get shot is because of the gematria of rap and the gematria of shot. Notice it's perfect in three out of the four ciphers. And um, you often see these numbers in these rituals, like 46, sacrifice is also 46, 17, the word kill is also 17, sacrifice is also 62. But, you know, notice the 19. I want you guys to listen to what Oprah Axis 50 Cent in this interview that came out, I think it was probably like in in the, in the early days of his 50 Cent's career. So just listen how to, to the question that she asks him. What does it feel like to be shot? Does it is it a physical feeling? It first? doesn't hurt as much as people imagine it hurts because of your adrenaline and how the shock of what's actually going on, it hurts after. Did you feel the, the first one or the ninth one? I don't even know. I didn't know my legs were broke. Really? When I tried to get out the car at the hospital. But... All right, let's play that again. She asks him, did you feel the first, I mean, she says, first she says, you know, how does it feel to be shot? Shot. Right? The word shot equals 19. Right after that, she followed the question by saying, did you feel the first one or the ninth one, right? First, ninth, one, nine. The word of shots and rap is also, is both 19. But look, notice also, I want you guys to notice what she does with her hands. She does the six, six, six fingers in a, in a very discreet way. But just, just look at it again. What does it feel like to be shot? Does it... Is it a physical feeling? Yeah, it first? doesn't hurt as much as people imagine it hurts because of your adrenaline and how the shock of what's actually going on, it hurts after. Did you feel the, the first one? See the hands, the six, six, six fingers? One or the ninth one? And then look at the smirk. And what a, and what a, a weird way to, to ask a question. Like, how does it feel to be shot? What do you mean how it feels? It feels painful. The, like, whatever. Whatever, Oprah. Which is six, six six fingers, but yeah. So, you know, nineteen. 
Did he feel the first one or the ninth one? I'm pretty sure he felt all nine if he was really shot anyway. I don't think he was shot at all, but if you get shot nine times, I'm pretty sure you're going to feel all nine shots. Did you feel the first one or the ninth one? Like, shut up. I hate these people, man. But, um, yeah, so... Like I said, you know, this is only December. December, and there's still another, what, 20 days left in the year? So... Feel bad for rappers. You guys got it the worst in 2020. So, that's all I have. Um, sorry I made this video too long, but I just this stuff is just unbelievable. How this stuff continues to happen over and over and over and over again. And people come into these videos and, and they start disrespecting me and, and calling me names. And you guys got to understand, like, okay, I don't care what you guys say. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to ever respond to you. This is probably one of the few times that I'm going to address you guys. I'm not the enemy. I'm just trying to expose the enemy. You guys don't like the videos that I make. You don't have to watch. If you don't agree with the things that I'm saying and teaching, you don't have to. You don't have to be here. This stuff is, is a reality and it's, it's really going on every single day. And. It's not only affecting rappers. The stuff, you know, all this wrongdoing in the world, all this evil, it also affects everyday people. So it's up to you guys if you want to um, wake up or continue to be fooled. You know, uh, how does it feel to be shot? Yeah. Keep listening to Oprah and 50 Cent in them. Because they're going to tell you things how they really are in the world, you know? Yeah. Um. Somebody says they're not going to take calls. I think my phone is charging, so... Mm, not today. So, I apologize about that. Hopefully, if I'm not doing anything on Sunday, because I'm writing a book. Let me just say, um, you know, this book that I'm putting together, this, this stuff is really complex. I mean, I never wrote a book before, but this stuff is really hard work. Because every time I write a chapter... I have to go back and proofread it and make sure that everything makes sense and everything is, you know, everything is just as like, you know, everything is like I want it to be. You know, I want it to be very simple and easy to read. I'm not going to have any big vocabulary in there. Everything is just going to be really simple stuff. I'm going to be teaching about the numbers that we always see and how... You know, I think I think rappers are just targets. I, I mean, I don't understand why they like to do rappers that way. Because, you know, so many celebrities die in a different fashion. But when it comes to rappers, it's like they always got to kill them in a, in a just a, a, a gruesome fashion. If you go on Wikipedia and just search lists of murdered hip-hop musicians... You're going to see a list up here, and this is not even, this is not even half of the people that's been shot and killed in hip-hop. But, um, I want you guys to notice the cause of death for all of these rappers. What, what do these rappers all have in common? Is their cause of death. That's the one thing that they all have in common. Scott LaRock shot and killed. Paul C shot and killed. D Boy Rodriguez shot and killed. Charisma, Stretch, Seagram, Tupac Shakur, Yaki Gaddafi, The Notorious B.I.G., Fat Pat, Big L, Freaky Ta. The rapper named Bugs, not only was he shot, but they also ran him over. So he got it the worst, I guess. Because they shot him and they also ran him over. So. But yeah, so this is list. I mean, DJ Uncle Al, Jam Master J, Sabotage, Camouflage, Half a Milli, Half a Mill, Soldier Slim, Mac Dre, Proof, Big Hawk. I mean, and the list goes on. You know? Shot, stabbed to death, shot and killed, shot and killed.
sad stuff, you know. And um, again, like I said earlier, I don't know if this if these people are being shot and killed. I don't know. It's possible all this stuff is just a hoax, and they're just presenting it like that. I guess like to get them. I guess in a way, a way to end your career is by faking your death. I think that's you know that's a possibility. But um, it's also possible that they really are getting killed, ritualistically. It's really sad though. So yeah, Doctor Savage says that um, it has to be the highest death rate for a job field. Yeah. I don't know any other profession where the employees get shot more than that. I mean, hip hop. I think hip. I think rappers get shot more than soldiers. Yeah, yeah. More rappers die in relation to guns than than police officers. You're right. So, that's a good point. That's a good point. So, well, a lot of people do get shot and survive, you know. And, you know, that, again, like I said, that list doesn't, that's not even half of the rappers because, the, again, uh, you know, we'll be here all day looking at all the rappers in history that have been shot. But this the, these are the rappers that have been murdered, right? There's also a list of rappers that have just been shot, right? The rapper Fabulous, he was shot. And back, I think, I guess this was in 2006, right? Beanie Siegel was also another rapper shot. This was on, I guess, 2014. Beanie Siegel in critical condition after shooting. And there's so much more. I mean, uh, let's see. Maybe I, I can just, let's see. God, I know the list is way longer than that, you know. So, rapper shots. So, Cameron, the rapper Cameron was shot. I'm not sure if 21 Savage was shot, but um, KJ Baller, I covered his his death earlier this year. Uh, Little Boozy was just shot on his leg this year. Little Boozy, Louisiana rapper, who's also 38. Rapper NBA Youngboy shot in Miami. He was shot at. You know, so I guess he, they didn't, he wasn't able to connect. But, um, yeah, they shot at him. Nick Blicky, he was murdered this year. Trey Savage, I covered his death. Chicago rapper, he was shot. They, in a, he was killed. He was shot and killed. Um, FBG Duck, another person shot and killed this year. Rapper Briss, yeah. So I'm, I'm saying it, it's, just, it's like almost. Uh, we can, can we say that it's almost all of them? I mean, this is the entire music music industry. These are ninety nine percent of the rappers get shot and killed. What's going? And nobody says, and nobody thinks that there's something wrong going on. 90%, we could say at least 90% of the rappers, they have either been shot, shot and killed, or imprisoned. At least 90%. Young Greatness, shot and killed in New York. Is that New York or New Orleans? Okay, he was shot and killed in New Orleans. Jacksonville rapper shot in quadruple homicide. What the hell? Oh my gosh. St. Louis rapper Baby Huey shot and killed. And um, if you guys are familiar with Huey's music, he's not a gangster rapper. He makes music for children. He makes dance music. So that's another example of how it has nothing to do with the type of music that you make. These people are not being killed because of the music that they make. Uh, yeah. So. It's like 90%. But, 
But um Yeah. Even the what's that what's that lady like what's that her what's her name? I, uh, Megan the Stallion? Is that her name? Megan the Stallion. Shot. Let's just look it up. I guess she was shot in the leg. She was shot in the foot on I guess in July. And they charged Tory Lanez with the shooting. So so in that case, you know, they got two rappers out the way. So they got one that was shot, and then they got the other one who was charged with the shooting. So so Tory Lanez got arrested for a shooting, and then Megan the Stallion got shot. So rappers being shot, shot and killed, or imprisoned. It's like that's also the three ways to go out. It's like 90% of them. And yeah. All this stuff is just a coincidence. I wonder if Jay... Probably Jay-Z has been... Well, Jay-Z's definitely been arrested. So... Either they fit in one of those three categories. But um, I'm going to end it there. Thanks everybody for tuning in. And I see the video has 45 likes. First, oh uh, man. 45 likes. Oh man. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to take any phone calls. But I appreciate everybody tuning in. Hopefully, you know, if you guys like the video, just hit the like button. It's not going to hurt. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to. It doesn't cost anything. It's probably, It's free. Share the video if you have a, a, a Facebook, a social, a Twitter, and let's wake some people up because you know the other day, I think it was yesterday, I saw that um somebody posted on Free to Find Truth that um the rapper YBN what's this guy's name YBN Yamir he posted he said Jamachi under a post on Instagram post. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy that this mainstream celebrity, especially a rapper, he's aware of Gematria because, you know, I, I don't want to read it. I don't want to read the headlines one day and say and read that this person has been shot. I am noticing that his name doesn't something 38, which is a first. But hopefully, you know, we don't read about this rapper's headline anytime soon. So he did post about Gematria and that's a good sign because... I guess this information is reaching rappers. Nicholas Simmons sums to 66. And his birthday is coming up in next week. So shout out to YBN Namir. Thank you for Spreading the word, brother. And that's what I'm saying. If we share this video, people like that can come across this information and and um, we can reach the people who are being victimized. Because like I said, I don't know if these people are dying and I don't know if they are if they are not dying. I can't prove that with Gematria. But um, What I can prove is that this stuff is no coincidence. These people are being targeted. Probably because of their skin color. Oh, look at this guy. Little Marlo. Another one. I covered his death this year. Little Marlo. 38 weeks after the death of Kobe Bryant. You want to be a famous rapper? Sign right here. You're going to be shot soon, so get ready. But um, you guys take care, and I'll see you guys next time.